This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. So um, we had a case of, uh, of a young guy who was um, given Narcan after a meth and opiate overdose. And I think it was a good reminder that not always is that a straightforward thing where they come in awake and we watch them and discharge them. So he was found on the ground, unresponsive, given Narcan and developed progressively worsening shortness of breath afterwards. Um, was hypoxic despite a non-rebreather, um, had like a really bad cough and really anxious diaphoretic, looked sick. Um, and what he developed is uh, non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema and had rapid fluid um, basically going into his lungs. Eventually he had to get intubated and is in the ICU. Um, and this is something that happens rarely. Uh, I didn't know quite like what, what the percentage was. It looks like 2% maybe, 3%, so pretty rare. Um, there's an argument of whether it's the Narcan that does it the heroin or an opiate or both together, probably both. Um, but you kinda, it kind of looks similar to someone with CHF that might have flash pulmonary edema. Um, mm -hmm. Suddenly they get very short of breath, their x-ray might show a lot of pulmonary edema or infiltrates, um, and typically they respond well to the same treatment, so positive pressure ventilation with CPAP or BiPAP, maybe requiring intubation and diuresis, and it's typically reversible, 24 hours, 72 hours of treatment, and then they, um, uh, are able to go home, but uh, just something to keep in mind that not all opiate overdoses are straightforward and there are complications that can happen despite people getting Narcan. Um, so just a good thing to keep in mind because this guy ended up being pretty sick. So. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.